Nice arrow, Joel. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> right, try to make it move. Right, we're going to start again, Joel. It helps to know what you're going to do in the shot before you're going to do it. You, you can't shoot with hope. People step up to the line and they shoot with hope. Gee, I hope I do good, right? Hope is not a course of action, right? Know your job. Know what you're going to do. You know, Rod says that all the time. Know your job. That's a good piece of advice, right? Know your job. But very specifically, that means send mm -hmm. the motor program back here instead of just sending it right here. Draw back and aim, get it done, watch it, keep it, then move. Right. Good work, sir. A little better? Good work. Now, you'll see these two. I did screw up on the second shot. But the next two were dead on. Come up here, Joel. So here was where I lost concentration and basically didn't, 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 didn't get my shot to go off correctly. The other two was where I did get my shot to go off correctly. So um, what we're seeing here is a difference in tension, not a difference in drawing or anything like that. So this one was not a bad arrow. This was just shot with more tension than these. Okay. So anytime you're trying to shoot, anytime you're trying to move and you basically cause your body impact, your mind does not want you to do that. So it will only allow you to build so much tension before it wants to let it go. That's why you know psychological triggers help with that as a goal for your movement. But this was not a bad arrow. Mm -hmm. It was just shot with a little more tension than these. So your job now, when you get into job number two in your shot, is to perfect whatever tension you're evaluating or movement you're evaluating to keep to get it the same and then those groups start to come in. These are all exactly the same height, just these are same tension. This was a little more tension. What you saw in the first video, my group was off to the left. I've been shooting my border CH pretty religiously. That bow hits a little bit different than this bow. When I first shot that first group, by the time I got to my second group, my mind must have figured out a little bit of my aiming to bring it over a little bit, hence this group. Um, you, know, you go to 3D shoots and you see all types of shooters, and they're all really great people, and it's a lot of fun. But you see a lot of guys that, you know, at 20 yards, they're really not grouping arrows into that kind of stuff. Um, if any of you out there have ever thought about getting coaching um, from someone like Rod, from someone like Joel, um, it's not a lot of money. You guys spend thousands of dollars on bows, hoping for that next bow to come along. It's gonna change everything. And this weekend, Joel really kind of blew my mind because one moment he's shooting a left-handed bow, drawing like Korean horse bow style, back way past his ear, shooting a thumb ring, and the next minute he's picking up a, a right-handed bow and he's shooting a thumb ring and he's anchoring you know, here on his face where normal people anchor. Um, and what really blew me away was the guy can pick up a bow and with a couple shots almost any way, three under, split finger, behind his ear, and, and hit. And um, he's a, a phenom, he's a, a, he's a very gifted archer. He's also very gifted in the firearms world and very gifted in, 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 in handgun and rifle shooting. So. What's easy for Joel, some of us mortals struggle <laughs> with. But we don't have to struggle um, as much. I mean, there's a lot of great shooters out there that could be so much better if they get a little bit of coaching. There's a lot of horrible shooters out there that could be better shooters if they get a little bit of coaching. I'm not gonna quote prices on what Joe Char Joel charges, 
Um, but for what that seminar cost this weekend, and Blackie Schwartz sat in on it. All the guys that went to Rod with me sat in on it. Um, Rod and Joel's stuff complement each other very well. Um, it was a very interesting mental look at taking your shot, and I know it's helped me as a shooter. I, I feel better. Uh, I'm heading to the Muzzy in a week and a half, two weeks. I feel good. Um, take the time, get some coaching. Um, I'm 47 years old, and I was a snap shooter, which is a sickness in my mind these days, <laughs> um, for probably 20 some years of my early bow hunting career. And I've been doing this since I was a kid. Um, it's never too late to get better. It's never too late to seek knowledge. Um, I love buying bows. I'm a bow junkie. Don't stop buying bows, but don't buy bows thinking that bow is gonna make a difference. Because you can hand this guy anything and he's gonna show you he can shoot it. And it's because he's a phenom, but also because he really understands the physics of the shot and the mental aspect of the shot. And he can incorporate it and transfer it from different systems. Um, it, Joel? It really is. It's mental control. I mean, I can pick up these Don't bows. Don't leave me hanging. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. You know, I can pick up any bow, but anybody should be able to do that. If you have the mental control, because if I pick up this bow or a horse bow or whatever, I'm going to shoot a perfect arrow or I'm not going to shoot it. That's kind of how it runs. You know, you can take instruction or you can buy a new bow or put a clicker on your bow or whatever you're going to do, but realize this, no matter what system you follow or what system you get instructed in, it's not going to work for you. You have to work for it, right? I mean, people get new stuff and they go, oh man, this is going to work for me to cure my target panic or I hope I shoot this bow better. It's not. There's no magic bow. There is no magic bow. There's no magic system. They don't work for you. They're just systems. They are how to do the work. So that's what, you know, Iron Mind Hunting, my instruction thing, that's what I do is I teach people how to get control of your shot mentally. It's not, it's not, it's very simple, but it's not easy. It takes some serious decisions because you're making decisions to cause your body impact, and it will never like it. And I never related to that, and I'm a long range shooter. I mean, I've always been a bow hunter, but I'm, I'm not to sound like an ass, I'm a very accomplished rifle hunter. I've hunted the world with high powered rifles, and I've done a lot of, lot of long range shooting, and I really understand that. And um, Rod and Joel both speak of rifle shooting in their archery. Shooting, shooting. Mm -hmm. And um, it's it, causing your body impact. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's incredible how they relate. These guys that say, "Oh well, you know, you got to just bam and this and that." I mean, yeah, I shot sporting clays real good too, and I understand that works and on running rabbits with a bow and everything. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about for 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 turning your bow into a precision tool that you can actually use it. Get some coaching. No one is too good that they can't get coaching, and I really believe that. Um, it's really made a big difference for me. Um, I appreciate everybody looking. Joel, thanks, bro. Good friend, great guy. I mean, I really enjoyed him and his son. If you want to see what Joel's stuff translates to, go to an archery shoot. And if you see a little blonde-haired boy walking around with an A and H longbow with a clicker <laughs> on it, spanking grown men around the course and talking smack to them. <laughs> and uh, I mean that'll really get in your psychological game when some little kid steps up to you this big and you know pops an 8 or a 10 and looks up at you like what you got um, <laughs> that really really will elevate your game I'm trying um, to teach him some humility it's hard when no, you're good not working it's out hard so when good. You're good. <laughs> hard when you're good so again thanks to the Turners um, we had a blast at Denton um, looking forward to doing a lot more a lot more stuff with Joel yeah. and um, Thank you, sir. some elk hunting. And everybody, I'm going to throw something out. It's going to piss him off. <laughs> Look for Joel Turner's YouTube channel. He's going to be, um, he's committed to me. He's going to yes. do it. He's going to He's going to start a YouTube channel. He's going to put tons of fantastic information, everything from elk calling. And he is a, a multi-champion elk caller. Um, you, you'll see some of that in the Denton video. And um, he's going to, do a YouTube channel for all of us because we all need information. 
So um, thank you. <laughs>